Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play of the Railroad Tycoon 3 Coast to Coast Expansion Pack version 1.05 patch scenarios. So today I'm going to be doing a new scenario on expert difficulty and we'll be playing East Coast USA. The dawn of the Iron Horse in the United States, here in one of the most densely populated areas in the, United, in the USA, you'll be trying to show the world just how resourceful you are. So we can play anywhere from 1830 to 1875, uh, but I think we're just going to go for 1830, which is the default, and we have to have two AI for this map. In fact, actually, if you notice here, the AI already have um, track set up. So we'll be playing on experts, and let us begin. Now I have actually done. I have actually beaten this scenario on Expert, um, and last time I did it, I did get gold. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to repeat that, get a gold medal on Expert. The advent of the steam engine not only transformed it, transportation, it's ut it, it, I can't read. It ushered in the industrial age. New industries were born and old ones transformed. You are here for it all. You'll find very few industries, it will be up to the tycoons to make this all work. So we're playing from 1830 to 1855. Bronze. Have a company book value of at least $5 million and move at least 750 loads of anything within 25 years. Silver. Company book value of $10 million and 1,400 loads. Gold. Company book value of $20 million, 2,000 loads and industry profit of $5 million. You may, not, you may not start multiple companies, but you may build unconnected track. So, if you see here, there are already two existing companies. The Atlantic and Southern, and the Roanoke Railroad. And the Atlantic and Southern goes Allentown, Lakewood, New York. And the Roanoke Railroad goes Danville, Roanoke, Lynchburg. Uh, but interestingly, these don't have chairmans. So, these two AI may start companies of their own, in which case we'd have four AI companies. But when I did it in the past, they didn't. They just literally bought shares. Um, and since these don't have chairmen, these guys can't buy shares. But we can still buy them out. It's a bit, it's, it's weird, if I'm honest. Um, but they do have trains of their own. Um, because we're playing in 1830, the only train available is the planet. Anyway, so we have to worry about company book value, industry profit, and hauling cargo. So basically, make money and expand. Let's start a company. And, um, well, we want to go to New York, and we want to go to... Like Philadelphia places, uh, there aren't really a lot of companies around at this time. Um, so I don't know what we're going to call ourselves. We could, I think, we'll just go to Pennsylvania Railroad, to be honest, because I know that was around here roughly at this time. Um, there we are. We are the Pennsylvania Railroad. I think I spelled that correctly. We start with a lot of cash. We start with 3.3 million. Which, minus 20,000 for some reason. Um, that's a fortune. And if we look at the cargo, there really isn't anything much. Um, when I did this in the past, I did kind of Dale City, Washington, Baltimore, Dover. Which kind of seemed to work. If we look in Dover, there's a warehouse that supplies... It turns cotton into iron. How strange. Um, grain, there's some grain in Dover. Logs. Coal. Hmm. Iron. Livestock. Wool. Yeah. Produce? Yeah. I don't know. What's in Baltimore? 
Yeah, they don't really, they don't supply anything outright. It's all just production. So there really isn't anything. But in the meantime, I think we will do Baltimore, Washington, because that seemed to work in the past. Uh. Large station for Baltimore, and can get away the medium for Washington. So Baltimore will kind of act as our central hub. And the good thing is, is that trains are very, very cheap. They're literally 10,000, but we can only get, we can literally only buy planets. Later on we want to buy the Norris, and then the Baldwin. Uh. And if we do have 1855, we're going to get the American, but I don't think we will. So I think it's just literally the um, the Norris and the Baldwin and the planet for now. Uh, that wasn't really that wasn't hauling anything really, unfortunately. Please tell me we can actually get over this river. We can't apparently. That's very annoying. Huh. That'll do. Good thing is it's nice and it's fairly flat here, and we are in Dover. Now in Dover there is, well, not much. There's just some passengers. That nobody wants to go to Dover, which is kind of annoying. Mm. Yeah, there's not really anything here. Uh, kind of annoying. It did say there would be very few industries, but we want to do. Dover to Baltimore. All four loads, that's fine. And a dining car. Uh, yeah, so we're really not hauling anything, really. But we are making a tiny bit of money. Um, is there anything in Salisbury? Or Salis... I'm basing it off the English town, which is Salisbury. As opposed to Salisbury. Because there's a town in England called Salisbury. Town? Might be, it might be a city. I don't know how big it is. I don't really know where it is either. Um, ah, there's some stuff here that wants to go... Um, Dover? So Dover to Salisbury, or Salisbury-Dover. That's making quite a lot. Just hauling coal. And it seems like most of our money is just going to come from... Um, Express, which I did kind of expect because there's not any industry because it's so early But we do have to buy out industries, so I think I'll want to Yes, I'll definitely buy this farm um, Maybe buy some more farms Yes I don't know why these are so cheap because normally it's about ten times what the profit is to buy it But I'm not complaining Cheap farms are always good. And since we don't have to worry about net worth... Uh, no, we don't have to worry about net worth. Uh, we can just... Get rid of this dividend. And issue some stock to raise a bit of cash. And buy out some more farms. If I can find a cheap one. I mean, all of these are going to make money. It's just a matter of finding a cheap farm that I can buy. Maybe like this one. Mm, slightly too expensive. Okay. Um, let's do it this way. Yeah, that one. That one will do. So, let's go. We spent all our money, but we will make a lot of money. Uh, from industry. Um, and just hauling stuff, to be honest. Even though the planet is very slow. Um, the company should make good money. The question is, will these guys actually create their own companies? I don't think they will. Uh, but obviously the AI will eventually... Um, expand. I think when I did this in the past, these guys expanded to Philadelphia 
Uh, and that was it. And I don't think these guys ever actually expanded. So the AI aren't really a problem in this scenario. You can see we're already making a lot of money. Um, we can buy more industry. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I want to buy that, actually. So yes, I've just taken out a bond. I don't know why these industries are so cheap. I did play. I did put on expert, didn't I? If I find out that we're not playing on expert, I'm not going to be very impressed. I'm pretty sure I put it on expert. Hmm. Richmond has offered three hundred thousand dollars to connect to it. Um, that's very nice because we will eventually connect to Richmond. The problem is, there's no way, as far as I know, um, to check if I am playing on Expert or not. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on Expert, it's just, why are these industries so cheap? I don't know. Maybe it's just because we're so early. I don't know. It's very weird. But we are making a lot of money. This is very suspicious. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, I want to buy this fruit orchard when we get the chance. Oh, just issue the stock. That's the easy way of making money. How much do we actually need? We only need 5 million in industry profit. The main thing is the book value and hauling car loads. Because we've got to haul 2,000 car loads and have a book value of 20 million. So I don't think 20 million book value is going to be a, the difficult thing. I think the difficult thing will be hauling 2,000 car loads. But then again, we are using planets, and later on we will get Bullwinds. And uh, Norris's, of course. I think we want to connect over to Philadelphia when we get the chance. Uh, how much is that going to cost? Well, whoops. More than we have, obviously, but... Avoid the river, because that's going to give us a bit of an incline. Okay, we are technically in Philadelphia, we just need the station. Uh, we could get away with a medium station, apparently. Could get away with a medium station, but I think we'll want to go with a large. Actually, no, let's just build a medium. Because the large doesn't cover anything else, so we may as well just go with a medium. And the money's piling in. So, we have very nice money, and uh, some milk um, that we could supply from Baltimore, so Baltimore, let's do Dover to Philadelphia, and Philadelphia to Baltimore, uh, with a dining car, and Baltimore, Philadelphia doesn't need a dining car. Uh, no, I've done that wrong. There we go. And you may as well make that up to five. Like so. Right. Well. Since we don't have to worry about net worth, that makes the scenario a lot easier. Uh, and it looks like the AI won't create their own companies, so we just have these two companies. Um, quite weird, because I mean, if, like, if I was an AI, I'd probably go with like Rich at this current stage. I'd go with like Richmond to Petersburg or Pittsburgh Morgantown. Um, there is money to be made. They just don't want to make it for some reason. Uh, there's a lot of passengers that want to go from Philadelphia to New York. 
or Philadelphia to Lakewood. So since since the AI already have, did I not build a mate? I didn't build a water tower. Oops. Uh, and I need to right. Since the AI already have the Lakewood station, uh, recession ahead. That's not a big deal. Huh. Company book value 20 million, 2,000 loads, industry profits. So 2,000, so that's 200 loads on average per year. 200 loads on average. Yeah. Later on, we will just do a mass expansion. Um. I say later on, I mean like towards the end of the scenario. I don't mean like immediately now. But I think... Oh, we can't issue stock. God damn it, broken down. It broke down. <laughs> At one point we had six hundred and sixty six thousand in cash. And we've already we've already almost made a million in uh, industry profit, so industry profit really isn't an issue. Uh, there's quite a lot of green. Hmm. Is there enough Hmm. What industry can we build? Brewery, yeah, we can't really build anything. Textiles. Huh. Is there any cotton around? We made 850,000 that year, that's incredible. Is there any cotton around? Some cotton Chesapeake. I mean, I think for now, let's just expand. Let's do... Hmm. Can we build a maintenance? Yeah, we can build a maintenance here. Don't really want that. Okay, I may have to settle for that. Nope, that's fine. So Philadelphia to Lakewood. Uh, they do have maintenance. We need water tower though. So Lakewood to Philadelphia. And Philadelphia Lakewood. May as well set it up both ways. Because why not? There we go. And we can also do... I mean, that might help the AI, but it does mean that they'll have to use my track. Although, actually, they basically now have access to Philadelphia on basically all of their track. But they are using my track. So, yeah, that'll probably, ha that'll probably help the AI, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Um... Our stock's going to split. I'm so used to seeing us at the top because we're because it's sorted by company founded. I'm so used to seeing us at the top. Um, but obviously that isn't the case. But yes, we're doing very well economically. Our stock is going to split. Um, I could, growing prosperity, very nice. Um. For some reason, I always find these older scenarios, like these 1830s... Uh, like, basically anything before about 1850, it's always much easier, and I don't know why. I find the more modern one, the more modern you get, the harder it seems to get. I don't know why. It's just something that I've found. Anyway, 
Dale City to Washington, starting in Dale City. Give you a dining car. Very nice. Uh, did I buy that grain farm? I did not. So let's just buy more grain farms. Can we upgrade this to a large? We can't because I think that how yeah houses are in the way. How's Salisbury doing? Not a lot of coal build up. Ah, uh, the AI is well. AI is starting to buy some industry. Um, Cattle Ranch is still losing money. Uh, hmm. No, I think we're doing really well. In fact, we are doing really well. I mean, it is it is quite an easy scenario. Uh, twenty million, five million. We still need to. I mean, obviously, we need the main thing is just the main thing we're going to struggle with is um, stock split three for one. Incredible. The main thing is just um, getting these 2,000 loads of anything hauled. Yeah, there's quite a bit of traffic build up in Baltimore, so we'll double that up. And there's a lot of build up in Philadelphia. Uh, but for now, I think we want to connect over Richmond to Petersburg. By a single track, not double track. Medium station for Petersburg. And uh, large for Richmond, just to cover everything. Because it's a bit of a weird town placement. Boom times! And we want to do. Uh, yeah, Richmond, Petersburg. Short distance, I know, but. It's apparently going to make money. Still weird that most of our money comes from Express, but I guess there's just so little industry at this time. I want to buy that. And buy that. Uh, we are making a lot in industry. In fact, how much are we making from industry? Last year we made 373, 388. Yeah, we're doing nice money from industry. Uh I want to build a bridge and another. We don't have enough. Issue off some stock. Just raise a bit of money. Issue off some. Oops. Issue off some more stock. And connects. And maintenance. Uh, water tower. And another water tyre here. Because these trains are very fuel... In, in, very um, fuel inefficient. So they use up a lot of fuel. Uh, but we think we can just about... Yeah, we can get to Chesapeake. Unfortunately, there's some kind of lake in... Like here. It doesn't look like water, but it is. I think that's like the Chesapeake Bay. Um, I could take out a 6% loan, or I could just wait for the money to come in itself. Yeah. We are making a lot of lots of money. Water towers. There is a water tower there. And we want to do Richmond, sorry, Petersburg to Chesapeake with a dining car and then Richmond to Washington with a dining car and Washington to Richmond with a dining car not holding as much anything in Dale City um, Oh, they're excited because we made over two million that year. Huh. Yeah, this is a very... To be honest, this is a nice... Nice and easy scenario. Um, just set up some more trains. It's a 
Dale City to Chesapeake. Start in Chesapeake. Nice. Uh, we can get the Norris in 1837. But for now, we're still stuck with the planet. Not that I have any problems with that. I like the planet. It's slow, and it's fuel inefficient, and it's unreliable. And it's not good at hills, although we don't really have any hills. But the passengers love it. And it's very, very cheap. And, I don't know, I, I like it. Blimey. For whatever reason, the AI are using a lot of my track. Baltimore to New York? That's basically all my track. Well, half of it. How much are we actually making? We're making nearly half a million from them just using my track. Be my guest. Like, I'm not using your track. Anyway. So basically, we've connected pretty much everywhere in the flat area. Um, could connect up to Charlottesville, although there's nothing really there. Whoa! Well, we just have a, a ton of money. Let's just buy some shares in ourselves. Uh, yeah, let's connect up to Charlottesville. Not with double track. And maintenance, water, water. Anything in Charlottesville? Some passengers that want to go. Well, nobody wants to go to there, but we can do up to Dale City. Like so. That's just nothing but passengers. And... Are there any, like... Is there actually... Uh, some s there is an iron mine. It's not making any money. Huh. How about this one? Nope. Okay. Um, connect up to Harrisburg. Oops. That's an incline that I don't want to have. Uh, there is an incline there, but I think it's okay. In fact, is it not possible to get a tunnel of any kind? No, apparently not. I'll start to build around here. Build around this. So it's, a, it's now a very, very long way to get to uh, to Harrisburg. Um, oh well. But the good thing is, is there's a lot of people that want to go from Harrisburg. And this, they apparently all want to go to... Um, so Harrisburg to Baltimore. Oh, it's milk. Let's do Baltimore to Harrisburg then. That doesn't need a dining car. And where do they want to go then? They want to go to Richmond. Interesting. That's a long, long way. It's making a lot of money. So, we do not need a dining car on this train. How odd. It does have enough water towers. Which is good. Um, next stop. I think we can do... I don't know where to go. Um, 20 million, 5 million. Uh, I could do the big industry, but the problem is... Oh, actually. No. I could build a meat plant. In fact, can we even build meat plants? Yeah, we can build meat plants. Um, What's in Baltimore? Some grain? Produce? I kind of wish I could build a distillery, but I can't build a distillery. 
Any wool? No, not really. I thought there might be wool around here, but there isn't really. In fact, these sheep farms aren't making money. How weird. Um, cotton. There's some cotton in Chesapeake, but I don't think there's enough. I don't think there's enough cotton in Chesapeake for a textile mill to be worthwhile. Um, I'm, I could do with a lot of grain, because then I could build, like, a brewery. Excuse me. But there isn't enough grain for a brewery to be worthwhile. This is really fucking annoying. Pulpwood, pulpwood. Please be pulpwood. Um, I forgot to say, there's no... Not enough pulp wood for a paper mill. So I can't build I can't really build anything because there's just nothing there. How very annoying. Um Yeah, so what do these demand? Is there any actually iron? Iron. Iron would be good. Uh, but there's no iron anywhere in these cities. There's some iron that's produced in Dover, so I guess... Actually... Oh, no. I was going to say... We could build a tool and die somewhere, but there's not enough iron in the... There's not enough iron build-up. Um... I guess we'll just keep buying farms. I mean, technically... Oops. Uh, we are making $600,000 a year in industry. So in five years... No. In about three years, we'll have done the industry goal. So really, we just need to work on our haulage and increasing the book value. And we can increase the book value by just expanding. So if we expand over to Lynchburg, which we can't do because there's a house in the way. So get rid of that house. And now we can expand over to Lynchburg. I'm sorry, Mr. Whoever lived there, but your house has been demolished so that we can construct a railway. When you put it like that, it's, um... You're just basically destroying half a town so you can build a railway. And this is probably the most convoluted line ever, but I'm just seeing... I'm not going to go with this, I'm just seeing like potential possibilities. Like, we could have built a tunnel through there, um, but we're not going to. Can we get round this riverbank without being insane gradients? Uh, whoa! It's giving me the, the option to build a gigantic bridge. What the hell is that? Well, we're not going to go with that, that's for certain. Uh-huh. What I do need is kind of like... Ah. Ah. Now if I destroy that... There we go. It's convoluted, but it is incredibly flat. And it saves me having to build like a massive bridge or something. So what we do have is just a massive tunnel. And if we look at the gradient... It's only really steep round here, and even then it's not very steep. And then it's very flat through here, and then all the way to Lynchburg, it's incredibly flat. And we can build a maintenance here, and a water tower here. I can't build a water tower in the tunnel itself, annoyingly. But what we can do is, um... Uh, Lynchburg to Charlotteville. And vice versa with a dining car and Charlotteville to Lynchburg via a dining car and we can also do something like Lynchburg let me build a bridge, will you? please please let me build this bridge so I can actually huh. what the heck is that? that's not what I want Come on. 
Come on, you piece of sh Ugh, right. Okay, I wanted to build a bridge over this river, but it's not letting me. Um, I guess we'll have to find another route out of Lynchburg into uh, Richmond or something. Because this ain't letting me. Anyway, anything in Winchester? There's some logs that might make their way to Winchester. Hmm. Not really anything in Winchester, but we may as well connect there anyway. Large station. Oh, issue stock. Uh, I am playing it on very slow, but that's just because I'm building. So yeah, I am, I'm aware that it's on very slow. It's just because I'm expanding. I don't really want it to be uh, on full speed whilst it's expanding. Because then you, your money fluctuates and it's just not nice. Okay, that's a big incline. Um... Really? Not escape the gradient? No, we can. There we go. Uh, actually, I, I like the look of that tunnel. There we go. Um... Because obviously these these early trains are awful on the incline, so anything that reduces incline is obviously welcomed by me. Um, now, I want to go over to... There. So, Baltimore to... Whoops. Uh, Winchester. Anything in Winchester? There's some milk we can ship to Baltimore or Washington. Some mail and some passengers. So uh, Winchester to Washington and Winchester to Baltimore. Starts at Baltimore. Doesn't need a dining car. Okay. How are we actually doing? Um, right. I think we are going to get gold. Let's just save the game. East USA Experts. I think this is Expert. I hope it is. Pretty sure I selected Expert. Um... Pretty sure I selected expert, so um, if this ain't expert, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Uh, as for other stuff, it's too expensive to buy out these guys. Although we, we could technically do it. Uh, the problem is, is like we'd have to take out a load of loans to do so. And it's not really worth it, to be honest, because all we'd really... Aha! New train! The Norris. Norris is better in every respect. Um, it's technically worse. On, technically, it's worse on the hills, even though it's faster. It loses more speed. It's more expensive to buy, more expensive to maintain, but otherwise, it's better in every respect. Passengers don't like it as much, but we want to do a mass up. Let's just do a mass upgrade to Norris. So there we go. Now everything is a Norris, and I've just been reminded, traffic. Uh, let's do some doubling up between Baltimore and uh, Philadelphia. And Baltimore to Washington, let's double that up. And... Um, I think that's okay for now. Oh, double up around Charlottesville. For whatever reason, there's quite a lot of traffic. Oh, wait, was I looking at the gradient? Our stock split two for one. Very nice. Doesn't make any difference, really, but... 
So, we hauled 179 loads last year, call it 180. We still need 1,400, but we are going to do it at the rate we're doing it. Um, and the Norris will help because it's faster. Uh, book value needs to be 20 million and 5 million. Yeah, so basically, we're going to get gold quite easily. But anyway, um, it does help us because it's early on. There aren't many industries, and it's a it's a fairly small map, so there aren't a lot of like. There's there's no real AI that you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about net worth. Um, it's a fairly small map, so there aren't many cities. Um, which helps. Let's do Chesapeake to Danville. And Danville, Chesapeake. Not hauling anything really, it's just hauling some coal. Barely making money. Charlottesville Flyer. Very nice. Lynchburg to Charlottesville. Now, that tunnel is uh, its really something to be honest. I'm, I'm pleased with that tunnel. There's not really anything in Cumberland. Um, the, big cities now would be like Pittsburgh and Morgantown, which I guess we can connect. But then there's not connected to like the main line, so it's quite annoying. Large stations in both of those. And connect them up. Uh, bit of an incline. Nothing serious. Uh, I mean, the problem is, is to get to like the main sort of. Actually, we can do. So yeah, we can do. We can upgrade this to six loads, just do like full trains and it should be okay. And that will also increase our haulage rate. Because the Norris is very good at hauling um, compared to the planet. Well, that's not hauling anything. So yeah, this is uh, quite uh, monotonous. I'm just literally because there's no way to mass. There's no way to do it on mass. Unfortunately. And we do have a lot of trains. Growing prosperity. Very nice. Probably should have done this fairly... Should, probably should have done this a lot sooner, but... Hey-ho. Uh, that's all of them. So... Every train now just hauls as much as it can. And... I think... We can do... Okay, we've passed the um, book value that we need. We've almost done with the industry, but we still kind of could do with a bit more industry. There's a lot of stuff in Washington. But the problem is it's like most of the passengers. Uh, a lot of cotton? Let's just check cotton... Just check build up of stuff. Cotton, no. Wool, coal. Problem is, none of these industries that we can build require coal. So, what we want is grain for alcohol, logs for lumber, livestock for meat, pulp wood for paper, um, cotton, wool, cotton and wool for textiles, and iron. If we look, ah, there's quite a lot of iron in Dover. So, let's 
build ourselves a tool and die. That makes goods from iron. And there's iron produced from cotton. So if we keep supplying this thing with cotton, which is supplied at Washington. So let's do Washington to Dover. I think we've probably already done that, to be honest, but hey-ho. Um, how's it doing for traffic? Uh, and it's starting to make a loss, but hope well, it made minus 5,000 last year, but hopefully it will start to convert this iron into some goods. Uh, which it is doing. Very nice. Um, let's just... Oh, boom times! Let's just upgrade it. Uh, anywhere else with a lot of iron? And there's a lot of iron around here, but that's an iron mine. Um, ah, lots of iron in Lynchburg. No, wait, no, there isn't. Okay, grain. Grain, 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 grain. And no. We could do grain in... I think, let's build a brewery in Lynchburg. Because there's apparently a lot of grain here. And upgrade that. Um, we can always sell it if it starts losing money. Uh, and we only really need it temporarily. That's another thing. If I could build a dairy processor, that would help. Because then there's a lot of milk lying around. And if I could build a distillery, that would help a lot. Because there's just a lot of... Um, yeah. Okay, demolish this maintenance facility. And try and upgrade that to a large? Yes. And uh, now, the problem is, is there's no maintenance facility here. So I have to build it here. Uh, slight upset, but it shouldn't be too bad. Washington is still fine with a medium. Dover's fine with a medium. I can't even upgrade it to a large. Salisbury is fine with a medium. Can't upgrade it to a large anyway. Um, Charlottesville, fine with a medium. Can't upgrade that to a large. Petersburg, a lot of these are fine to be honest. They haven't grown enough for an upgrade to be worthwhile. Let's buy some more shares in the AI because why not? I don't even, like, I'm not interested in uh, net worth, but it's always nice to have. Anyway, we've passed, we've passed the book value and the industry profit goals, so we just need to haul more stuff. Now, I ignored it earlier, but if we connect to Harrisonburg, we'd make 200,000, but the problem is it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, is there anything actually there? There's apparently... Could be a lot of iron nearby, so I think we will just connect to it anyway. Uh, we do need a large station. What is it? It's Harrisonburg. That'll do. There's some iron in Harrisonburg. Um, we could connect up to Winchester, or we could connect up to Charlottesville. Or we could just do both. And I think we will do both. Round the iron mine, avoiding the hills. What the fuck is that? And there we go. And we get 200,000 for that. Uh, but obviously it costs a lot more to connect there. Not that I'm really bothered. Um, we're making a fortune anyway. We don't actually have enough to build this tunnel just yet. Uh, let's issue stock. Make a million from that. Does decrease the share price by a tiny amount, but it's nothing significant. Uh huh. And water tower and maintenance. And then let's do here to here. With a dining car. And Harrisonburg to. Winchester starts at Winchester. Doesn't need a dining car. So. 
I could really pay this off, but there's not really much. Well, let's just pay it off anyway. So we made nearly 4 million last year. And we hauled 250 loads. Yeah, gold is really not a problem. We're going to get gold very soon. We might even be able to get gold before 1845, in which case we don't need the Baldwin. Uh, is there an easy way to get to Altoona? Not really. In fact, Cumberland and Altoona are the only two stations in the entire map that don't have... Or only two cities that don't have stations. So, we may as well connect up to Cumberland. Uh, because why not, to be honest? Just try and avoid these silly hills. I could build the world's... I could build an incredibly long tunnel. It's rather convoluted. Oopsie! That's not good. No, I don't like this line. That's a very bad route. Um, There's no easy way to get into uh, into Cumberland. I think that'll do. Need a large station for there. But there's a lot of passengers. They want to go to to Washington. Uh, so let's do. Cumberland to Baltimore. And, oops. Baltimore, Cumberland. Like so. And then we need Washington, Cumberland. That's not actually hauling anything. That's annoying. Okay, do Cumberland, Washington. Uh, hopefully this will actually haul something. It's barely hauling anything. Okay, just get rid of this train. Apparently people want to go from Pittsburgh to Cumberland. But unfortunately... Like... We can't actually do that. Uh, we've basically got gold. We just need to haul a bit more stuff. Uh, East USA Experts. LP, that's what I saved it as earlier. I'm losing track of my own save files. That's a bit worrying. And I thought I'd try to give them logical names. Avoid these. Try and avoid the hills where possible. I either go for hills or a very long and obviously to be expected expensive tunnel. No, that's, that's no good. Bit of an incline, but nothing too bad. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure where this line is meant to go to. I think I'm trying to get to Altoona. Um. Oops. Messed that up. The search continues for a flat line with not many hills that is actually feasible to get to uh, Altoona. 
So far, none yet found. Uh-huh. Kind of works. I mean, it's, it's a bit impractical. But it kind of works. I don't want a tunnel just like that. Um. Wow, this is uh, not good. This is really not good. Um. Okay. I guess that'll do. It's pretty ugly. I th I'm guessing this 7 means that through the tunnel it's a constant incline of 7, which is a bit unideal. But if it can... I'm not sure if we can actually get all the trap, all the town with a large station like that. Uh, there is a bit of an incline here and here. Nothing deadly serious in here. But I think we may just have to accept that. And we can actually connect to the entire town of Altoona via one big station. We did make four and a half million last year, so that was our best year. Let's buy some shares in the AI. Just why not? It makes no difference. Anyway, Altoona is uh, Altoona to uh, Washington. And yes, I'll need um, thing. Uh, maintenance and water towers and whatnot. And let's do Cumberland to Altoona. Ugh, that's hauling nothing. Okay, Altoona to... Actually, just check Altoona again. Did I do Altoona to... I did Altoona to Washington, so let's do Baltimore Altoona. I'm probably mispronouncing it. I think it's Altoona. Doesn't need that. And Altoona to Baltimore with the dining car. On the plus side, this Altoona Washington line is making a ton of money just hauling milk, and it's making a lot of money just from passengers as well. Most of our money still comes from Express, which is uh, weird. It's out of interest. All. Ah! So the brewery is making a lot. a fair amount of money, and the tool and die is making some money. Um, a lot of passengers in Winchester that want to go to Pittsburgh. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that wants to go to Pittsburgh. So, ideally, we'd go and connect to Pittsburgh. Somehow, we can connect to Pittsburgh. So, that'll be our next objective. Connecting the main line over to Pittsburgh. Um, around the hills, ideally. Really? We can't build a tunnel like. Oh, yeah, that's not very nice. Ha! <laughs> no, that's not nice. Okay, that's flat. I still want it to be flat. Uh, there's got to be a nice way round here somehow. I mean, I don't mind tunnels if we can afford them as long as they're flat. But a lot of these tunnels don't seem to be very flat, which is very silly. Like, what's the point in having a tunnel through a mountain if it's no flatter than just building over the frickin' mountain itself? 
Okay, that'll work. Uh, that would work if it weren't for that. Ugh. Accidentally cancelled the tunnel. Okay, that. That kind of works. I guess that works. I mean, it's. It's pretty horrible here. Um, but anyway, that may well be the flattest we can get it, unfortunately. Actually, that did kind of flatten it out there. And I think I've just made it worse there. Anyway, it, it still kind of works. I guess. Um, anyway, Pittsburgh has a crap ton of stuff. Um, passengers that want to go to sort of everywhere. So Pittsburgh, Altoona... With a dining car. Oh, wait, no, not a dining car. Okay. And then Altoona, Pittsburgh. With a dining car. Uh, and then... Hmm. Morgantown, Altoona. Doesn't really need a dining car. Uh, well, let's just put a dining car on anyway. And then uh, Baltimore to Pittsburgh. That's an awfully long way. Uh, Pittsburgh to Baltimore with a dining car and then Washington to Pittsburgh these are some convoluted routes but if they make money they make money and finally Pittsburgh to Washington excellent do 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 Baltimore to Pittsburgh that's just nothing but uh, that's making a fortune, just hauling nothing but um, passengers and mail, which is very nice. And I think, yeah, I think every station on this map, every city on the map has a station. Um, I mean, you, you can't get everywhere. Like, you can't get any, you can't get everywhere direct. And you still, you'd have to, like... Um, like you'd have to go through cities and you'd have to take um, interchanges of trains and to get from like Pittsburgh to New York you'd have to go to Philadelphia and then get on an enemy AI train from P Philadelphia to New York but otherwise everywhere in the map every city has a station it's not often you can say that. It really isn't. It's because there's not many stations and it's not a very big map. And also, quite a lot of the map is just water because of the Atlantic Ocean. And because of these mountains, there's not a lot of places that you can have uh, cities. Uh, train 24 has crashed. Let's put a dining car on that train as well. Chesapeake to Danville. Um, we should get gold by the end of next year. So we don't even need the bowl win. That's really impressive. That's insane, to be honest. It's USA Expert. Let's play. Let's save again and again. Uh, I just realised that this train needs... There was a train that's... Yeah, this needs a dining car. So many passengers. Like, 13 loads of alcohol in the entire map. No clothes. There's a lot of coal, apparently. Barely any coffee. No. Just look at it. A lot of grain. But then there's just tons of passengers and mail. Where's all this grain? Main demand. Aha! <laughs> Gold! And on the east coast. Who would have guessed? So, yeah, rather than having gold found on the uh, west coast in California, uh, it happened on the east coast. So, 
Ah, good. I was scared then. Yeah, I just realised. It only stores the top ten, and all ten of these are me. Um, and we were playing on expert. Um, I thought we were, but I just wanted to be sure. Uh, who should be playing? So just save that. So, um, we had double the book, double the book value we needed for gold, and almost double the industry profit, and we've only actually used half the amount of time. So that was a very easy scenario. Um, I mean, it does help you start with starting with 3.3 million is a lot because it means that you can kind of just buy a load of industries and then expand very early on. I mean, I think we did Washington, Baltimore, Dover, Salisbury, which isn't exactly far, but then we also spent about... We also spent a lot of money just buying out farms. And there's just a lot of money to be made, because even, you, even though you're using these slow trains, almost... Well, not almost all your money. Most of your money comes from Express. And... Which helps, because these Norrises... Um, passengers pay even more to ride them, because they look sharp. And... Um, you could just make so much money, just expanding everywhere. I mean, last year we made... Well, last year we hauled 325 loads. And we made... Almost four million in profit, but anyway, economic boom fading. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. That was the East Coast USA on expert, and I got a gold medal very easily, if I'm honest. Um, so, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.